Happy Monday, Lumineers! I hope you're doing well today. My name is Jamie Butler, and I'm here at the Center for Love and Light in Atlanta, Georgia. And I got a question the other day which made me think, hmm, I want to talk about this. And that is, how do you read somebody's aura? Do you have to see it? Do you have to be in front of the person? Can you do it on the phone? Can you do it at a distance? And the answer is, drum roll please, yes. Yes, you can read somebody's energetic field. Yes, you can be on the phone. Yes, you can see it. Yes, you can be from afar. And the key to all of this is know your colors. Probably not where you thought I was going to go, but know your colors. Because when you can see, sense, understand how you react to color, when you're tapping into somebody, whether they're in front of you or at a distance, you can hone in to color and then describe what that color means to you and collect information from what's happening with that person. Okay, so why is color so important? Aura is the energetic field that shines around the person. I say shine because when we see it with the naked eye, it's reflected by light and it looks as if it shines with color. So we have all the colors of the rainbow possible for your energetic field to be. Each vibrational quality or frequency that shines from you has a meaning. It has a description, it has a function, it has a dysfunction. And identifying what color is shining off of you gives information to people who can perceive it. Now, perceiving it doesn't have to be with the naked eye, right? So right now, you could be watching me perceiving a certain color. If it's purple, it's probably my new hairdo, <laughs> thanks to my daughter. Okay, but you could be perceiving a certain color off me, therefore gaining information about where I'm coming from, what I'm thinking, how I'm feeling, or what I'm doing with my energy. It's a great cheat sheet, guys. So start, first of all, what does each color mean to you? Go down the line. Meditate on white. Hold white next to you. Dress all in white. Go into a white room. How does it feel? What does it look like? How does it show up? And go down the line with purple, indigo, blue, green, you kind of get my point, right? I don't have to go through all the names. <laughs> yes, go through all of them. And then when you want to perceive somebody's energetic field or read their aura, just think about the person. No, okay, you don't have to get that crazy. Just think about them, right? Go logical with their name, see their name, see what they look like, and then imagine, use your imagination, and draw them close to you, bring them closer to your energetic field. Imagine that they're standing next to you or laying down in front of you, and then if you're not seeing a color in your imagination, I want you to ask, hey, what color are they? You might sense it, you might see it, you might hear the name of the color, and then, because you've already meditated on that color, you know what it means. And therefore, you can use that information to understand where that person is coming from, what they're thinking, how they're feeling, and what they're doing with their energy. All right, I hope that little tidbit helped. Sit down, guys. Get your colors. Get your colors. Get your colors. <laughs> All right, have a great Monday, everybody. Take care. Bye.